sun. Let's fix this. <laughs> We're this way. Okay. So, welcome to today's vlog. Today is a travel vlog. I am going to Nashville for some exciting things and I'll share all of it with you guys in a minute. Right now, we just went to Publix and picked up a ton of goodies for the trip we're about we're in georgia and nashville is about four hours away from here so we know we're gonna get hungry we know we're gonna get thirsty so i'm sorry about the light the sun is right in my face it's the only way to do it right now and what we're gonna do is now we're going to starbucks to pick something up and then we'll be on the road so i'll let you guys know all the details as to why we're going to nashville and i hope you guys enjoyed this travel vlog i'll have a um a grande caramel brulee with an extra shot. Got this uh, ham and cheese croissant. It's actually pretty good. I normally get something else. It's ham and cheese something, but it's actually pretty good. So if you want to try something to eat at Starbucks, this ham and cheese croissant is on the list. So I just want to show you guys a couple of the snacks we got when we were at Publix. We had we just stopped at a rest stop and it's let me see what time is it? 11:25, so it's almost lunchtime, but we're nowhere. We still have like an hour, I think, an hour and a half to go still. So we get to Tennessee, so I need a snacky poo. So I just want to turn the camera around real quick and show you what we got. Let's see. So I got these cool ranch kale chips, because you know. I'm, like I told you guys before, I'm trying to get on my health kick again, so I am buying healthy snacks, well, healthier snacks. I don't know if all these are healthy. That's my husband's. I don't know if these are healthy or not, but we wanted to try them out. And what else did I get? Uh, that's his. Oh, I got these things right here. Chickpea snacks. Sea salt. So they look pretty good. I'm gonna try those right now and see how they are. And yeah, let me see what else he got. He got these. That's all him. He likes pork wine things and pork cracklings. <laughs> and smoked shorty sausages. He's obviously into meat if you haven't picked up on that. <laughs> Which one you want? This one? No, the This one? Okay. So, I'm gonna try those real quick right now and see how they go. Let's see if I can put the camera here. Oh, we're driving, so let's see. I'll let you guys know if it's good or not. Whoa! What the heck? Anyway. Um. They're okay. Which ones are they? The... Oh. They're not as good as the last ones? The I peanut, yeah, I have other ones at home. I showed you guys in my Insta stories before. Those were really good. These are okay. They're okay. Let me try the... Um, <laughs> try this again. Uh, the, I'm gonna try the kale chips. I've had kale chips before. I just don't know if I've had this brand or <laughs> fell <laughs> or this flavor before. So, oh, come on, stay. Why won't you stay? There. All right, hold on. I'll pick you guys back up. Just one second. All right, I just opened the bag. And Are really good. I do not know how to handle this camera like this. Let me see. Okay, these are really, really good. Oh my god, I love these so. Okay, hour and 36 minutes to go. Talk to you later.
Okay, so we just got to our room and I'm gonna give you a tour, but the best part of this whole room is the view and we're gonna get to that in a minute, but first let's, uh, let me show you the room real quick. So, ooh, it's so dark, okay. So here's when uh, we walk in the door and here we have the restroom and oh, that's nice, I hadn't noticed that yet. That's a really nice wall and here is the room, I mean the bathroom and has a nice shower and I don't know what this phone is all about but okay. <laughs> So that's that, that's the restroom. Then we have over here a closet. <clears throat> yes, your average closet. That door almost slammed on my finger. And then you step into the room and here's the, the really pretty back wall with a nice bed. It looks like a king size bed, it looks really comfortable. And then we have you know, just a little desk area over here with the TV. That's my husband's bag. It has a nice mirror. <laughs> so and now, oh, and then it has this really nice chair. And now to the best part, check this view out. We are up on the 21st floor. What a beautiful, beautiful view. So this is day two and now I'm doing my morning routine. I brought all my things with me because, you know, you still have to do your thing. You have to get in alignment. The only thing I did do was work out, but I still did my journaling and picked out my cards and just did all the things to get me in, you know, alignment for the day. Okay, so this morning you saw that I just did my journaling and I did all the things, but we actually switched hotels. And the reason we switched hotels is because, let me put the camera down, let me see if I can do this here. Yeah, that's probably better. Let's see. The reason we switched hotels is because we were staying downtown Nashville. And that's not really our scene. We don't, we're not city people. And we were not comfortable there as far as like what we like to do. You know, we are doing something tomorrow. Tomorrow's actually the date. Today's Tuesday. What's today? Monday or Tuesday? Monday. Monday. Oh, today's my, I did the wrong thing on Instagram. <laughs> Anyways, today is Monday. And then Tuesday is actually the day that we are here for. And I'll tell you guys all about it in just a second. But, you know, we came a couple days early to do, you know, to just hang out and do some things. And we really thought that staying downtown Nashville was going to be cool and fun. But it's all about clubs and restaurants and, you know, city life. And we don't like that. We are suburbians and <laughs> we like the burbs so we actually headed which way north south east south. we headed south to the burbs and instead of staying in nashville we're staying in franklin tennessee and we love it and i'll tell you why we love it because there's a Starbucks, <laughs> there's a Target, there's a Ross, there's a TJ Maxx, there's all the things that we enjoy doing when we're just lounging around. And there's we were gonna do things outdoors, but I'll show you right now why we can't really do a lot of stuff outside and why being close to like the shopping center is perfect while we, you know, while we stay here in Tennessee. Check this out. That is our new view <laughs> and it is snowing it's been snowing all morning and it's pretty fantastic it's pretty beautiful I mean I don't want to be in it but it's pretty <laughs> I like it from inside my hotel room so yeah we're in a new hotel and basically it's you know the same thing it's got a big room it's actually bigger than the other one. It's got um, the room here where we're gonna stay. And then it's got a huge, you know, workspace if you wanna work here. It's got this little 
whatever bar rest, kitchen thing over here and then it's got the bathroom so you know this one is a embassy suites and the other one we were staying at was a renaissance so we like being in the suburbs it is really <laughs> snowing right now but we wanted to come to an awesome store check it out <laughs> Can you see the snow? Can you see the snow? Anyways, going in to just spend some time in here. All right, so I ended up getting this tote bag. It's so cute. It says, so many books are not enough time. So many books, not enough time. There we go. And it just says books, books, books. Super cute. And then I ended up, you guys know that I do my auto, my books on Audible. So I don't usually buy books when I go to Barnes & Noble. I buy other things like this. <laughs> Hold on, I'll get it out. One second. I got this for my grandson I thought he would well we thought he this would be something he would like and it was only five dollars it was on sale so we're like this is amazing he would love this and I also ended up getting myself because I'm obsessed with oracle cards as you guys know I got myself a new one the elemental oracle so I'm gonna open those up now and check it out hey you guys okay so today is day three it's finally tuesday it's the reason why we're here in nashville and i'm so excited we're getting ready to leave um okay so the reason we're here is because my husband is recording a few songs with some people here in nashville and like you guys know he's a musician oh, if you don't know he's a musician he's got a youtube channel i will leave it in the description box below for you guys to check him out he's also got an instagram that he puts all his music on there too anyway he's been at this music business for a very long time so we're here in nashville recording some music and it's kind of a big deal not only because of the people that he's recording with and unfortunately i am not at liberty to say who's he recording with and all the things that surround this opportunity but what i'm here for is also because i'm supporting him obviously but you know when he put out when he showed these people the songs that he has which he's got you know a million songs um in the songs that he has he showed them one song that i wrote and they actually liked it and they wanted to record that song too so the reason i'm here is because one of my songs is also being recorded and i'm really excited about that because that song i wrote when i was at my lowest point professionally i wrote this song when i was at a nine to five that i hated when i was um filled with anxiety and I felt hopeless and I just didn't know a way out and I didn't know how I got there and I was so upset about my professional life. I hated it and I wrote this song at a very low point and I was, you know, I felt it and now to know that the song is getting recorded and that it could potentially reach a lot of people is really exciting for me but, you know, I'm I'm also excited for my husband, obviously, and more so for him than I am me, but it is a huge opportunity for him and myself, but I'm excited because as a writer, you know, that's what you want is for your work to get out to the world, for your work to mean something, for your work to inspire and touch other people in whatever way it reaches them at that time in their life. So I'm really excited that this is actually happening for not only him, but that a song that I wrote, uh, that it's it actually touched someone that said they want to record it and that it could potentially reach the masses. So 
I'm really excited and now we're getting ready to go do all the things. We're going to go to Starbucks first to get coffee because um, we have a three hour session and then we're going to take a break, go have dinner and then go back to it. So it could be an all nighter thing. Right now is one o'clock. We have to be there at 2.30. So I'm going to go get Starbucks. Uh, we're going to go get a couple snacks and water because I get thirsty. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far. I don't know how much I'm gonna get to record in the studio because of the people that we're recording with. I don't know the ins and outs of all that. I'm hoping I get to record a little bit, but either way, this is not the end of the vlog. The vlog, I'll come back on here and wrap it all up. And hopefully I can show you guys some clips of everything that happened in the studio or talk a little bit more about it. But until then, let's just get going. Let's go to Starbucks and get some snacks. <laughs> Okay, you guys, this is us arriving at the studio. This is the only thing you guys are gonna get to see. I can't show anymore, unfortunately. But if you guys like this vlog, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you continue following because as things progress, I'll be able to share more about this project and how everything went and how it's progressing. Okay, that's it for today's video. I'll see you guys again in a brand new video next week.